Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition Sphere of Influence on Series GG. For those of you watching these as they go up live, I'm sorry I spent the whole weekend up until this last video of the weekend getting ready to be at war. But we're finally going to war now in this turn for sure. The only thing I could do before uh, letting another month roll is have the guys from the furthest northern places where I'm marching start their march. But I honestly don't remember for sure some of these cities if I'm sending better officers up there. So I want to give people a little time to actually get to their final places they've been deployed to. Meanwhile... The Tokugawa will attack first once... Uh... Oh wow, they're actually... The Meta are winning. Although that won't last. Because uh, the... Tokugawa can attack from several of the directions, which they're doing now. They're sending Ieyasu himself is leading 8,000 plus troops. And this guy is not Tarakatsu, but it kind of looked like he was for a second. Yeah, the thing is, the uh, they're coming up here to Nagahama Castle. That's going to be a bloodbath, and it's not going to go the way of the Meta. I don't know that we could get there in time to help them, but that's the thing. They decided to attack, and now it's like Okay, they're kind of winning where they attacked, but they're getting counterattacked hard. We've done enough diplomacy on Akita clan to request reinforcements. Continue diplomacy. Onward to the battlefield. So it's this guy with 3,000 versus 1,800, but like the personal unit of Ieyasu is on its way. He's kind of hidden in here now, it seems like. Saw him a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's more troops than some forces probably had at the beginning of this thing. So, Kuki Clan has been eliminated by Akeda Clan. Wow, they didn't even ask for help. So our vassals got wiped out by uh, one of uh, Ieyasu's vassals. That's not a good sign. At least I went to the Akeda Clan and not to talk Tokugawa himself. So, we've gained the Minister Trait now. How to use this? Seems Tokugawa clan has given us their answer. We should break our alliance, alas, such is the age. I don't think we get to, um... Well, let's wait until we get attacked. Because they should do that before the month is even out. But we'll see. Surprisingly not. And Tomonobu Tsugaru died before he ever trusted us. And this guy died. I don't know whether he trusted us or not. Let us begin the meeting. Let's begin the beginning. Here is last month's balance. Reporting in. Okay. One or more of our castles has been scattered. We have one month left in our alliance with the Meta clan. After much study, he's obtained the lucky trait. Various traits have been gained. Gained enough trust in the Mori clan. That's it for diplomacy. Pleasing, tri pleasing tribes has worked. We've got a discontented Tokugawa officer. So now... We can try to get a marriage alliance going with the Mori would be crazy not to trust us with the marriage alliance. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to do uh, more diplomacy. I want to negotiate a marriage alliance with them. With the young... No, Madoka's too damn good. I want to give them somebody whose stats aren't that impressive. We're 57. 
These stats are kind of blah. Oh, no same sex marriage, huh? Well, our marriage alliance might not last forever based on the age of the people available to marry, but. We'll give them Tomo Date. She's got the least impressive stats. And then we will propose an alliance to end Tokugawa Mania. Which will be led by the Date. And the members will be the Meta. We need to improve relations with these guys. We need the Ukita. We can add them later. We don't have enough with them for now. It's really unfortunate that we um, lost, uh, th that they got hooked up with the uh, Mori, but we can add as many guys as we want. We'll just have to later on, we'll add the uh, Ch Chisakabe and the Okita, and possibly even after the Marriage Alliance, the Mori. And we need to get to work on increasing. Now that we got the marriage alliance, we need to get that trust back because we lost the trust, which seems weird. Heh, <laughs> leave this to me. We have new districts that can be built. Temple there and a temple here. Seems like it would be an okay place for conscripts, because that's what we need right now. There are quite a few places that have grown enough. Yuki's turning into an economic powerhouse, but um, even though it would be better for agriculture, we need conscripts everywhere. Enemies everywhere. Hold the line. This place is far away enough that maybe we don't need to worry as much about conscripts here, but... Um, And again, conscripts is still good. Boy, a lot of places decided they needed to develop all at the same time. This place really can't develop that far, far anyway. Let's make it as suitable for conscripts as we can. going to use up all of our labor here. Quite a bit of it anyway. I usually go straight to churches. For some of these newer places, I have been going with um, rice dealers. This place I'm going with baths. Cariando? Oh crap, I probably shouldn't have done that. I wonder if she'll still be allowed to march.
I don't remember which city it was. Some place had a lot of troops, that's why I marched a Cariando down there. handed Nicariander didn't end up in the same place I don't think okay never mind it doesn't make a difference we're still allowed to um Cariando is allowed to be building a um baths so <laughs> she decided you know what I want a nice hot bath yeah Calgon take me away but then she gets called to war and she's like all right somebody else finish taking this bath because it it wor morphed in my mind from building a bath to taking a bath because you know I'm silly I guess this is happening because I concentrated a lot on developing conscripts. Maybe that's what's making all these conscript buildings suddenly available? I didn't really think it worked that way, but I, I guess I haven't been super sure. I thought it was just growth made more things available, but sometimes, yeah, you'd actually need to... Um, Hold on. Okay, never mind. This place is... Oh, this is one of our newer places. Maybe I will go with the theater here. We got two dynasty war or two uh, samurai warriors playable characters there in one place. So that's super important. Yeah, it really is all uh, conscripts developments that's happening right now. So, increasing the ceiling on my... on my conscript uh, output for each of these cities. More baths. So this is supposed to be the uh, video where we went to war, but instead it's... It has become a bit about... Um, this is... Yeah, this one's way out on the outskirts. So... Increasing population growth would be good for them. Oh wow, you actually did something other than uh, conscript growth. Good for you. And getting stables and ranches and cool stuff out of this for sure. Now that did it for a good deal of our um, labor. This place has now got the basics. Two story Tenchu, resistance to blockade increases. put the rest into our standard conscripts and now I gotta think really hard about whether I want to start marching people out do I have I waited a whole month to get the right officers in place let us grant treasures to retainers with low loyalty when did I get it 
When did I get a new treasure? Somebody who had a treasure died and went back to the forest is what happened. Well, this guy's trying to get us to buy all this fancy tea stuff. Hold on to it for now. Can't figure out what to do with it, so I'll wait. Same with this. All right. There is apparently a really unhappy Tokugawa officer somewhere. But I don't know if it's worth the... Uh, or if they fixed that in the meantime, or if it was ever really worth worrying about too much. He's way out of our range. All right. So we'll try to get help from the tribes. I think it's time to start marching. All of our castles are ready. Perhaps now it's a good time to go on a defensive or offensive. So we just want to get a bunch of guys marching down sort of to be ready for wherever they're needed by the time they arrive. I sure hope I have enough uh, guns for everybody and horses. Let's go. So this seems like an impressive force, but they've got a long march ahead of them. I'm starting to feel like even these little guys probably could could be useful. Going through a lot of food this way, though. We march. But we'll see if a huge push. These guys arriving from the back after we've already. Throwing our front line at them, if that makes any difference at all. Leave it to me. Even tied fate with a big unit. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And my main objective again is to just take this valley. This whole river valley in here. It's got lots of good land, good cities. We march. You guys, on the other hand, could march up this way and try to help out in the north eventually. Onward to the battlefield. Some of these places truly do not have any troops that are worth mustering. Oh. 
Just watching that food sink. This might be a terrible idea. Marching all these guys out of the north might be a really bad idea. Onward to the battlefield. We're just we're gonna go through a lot of food having all these troops up, but we're gonna have a whole lot of war going on. Uh, I'll keep you guys there because I'll know that you'll need to be deployed somewhere. So there's no point in rushing to figure out where that is. Nova Sabadate's got an awesome outfit on. Yeah, this could take a little while to get going. But this is going to be kind of make or break. If I launch this attack, deplete all these forces, all these cities, and don't take this valley, uh, we've lost the game. If I do take this valley, I kind of feel like we've probably won the game. Again, uh, oh, Kajura Katakura, and uh, he actually outranks Grimoth, despite Grimoth being a pretty powerful freaking officer. If I throw, I, like, I don't even want to throw them into this. This is going to be a bloodbath, and I don't think it's going to go our way. I think they are, we're better off just flooding this valley with troops, and then if we've got large numbers of troops left over, they march west and try to help. But uh, in all of my off-screen goofing around, the Tokugawa have always attacked me first, so this is actually um, the first time I've ever attacked them first. But we technically haven't attacked them yet. Onward to the battlefield. We just have lots and lots of guys all converging on Oyama Castle, just for fun. Uncle Baldo will be backing up Chiyomi Mochizuki. Let's head out. We'll even have some guys converging. Um... Yeah, Okami Hato made it. She was probably the one who was going to be the most delayed. So my worry is that people didn't get there in time uh, to be part of the deployment are kind of reduced now. This is just their 120 days worth of food that everyone's carrying, though. I need to. Oh, I'm not going to be able. I'm not going to be able to sell food for anything. Well, it's April. We'll get more food soon. Vulture Bobo with Ao Soma. Lady Tollpanzer. All of the great heroes of the age. The bloody hand. And I'm wondering if I should have some guys coming in from other directions. They're all going to be coming in the same way here. But at least they're all coming here. They'll get supplied with food. And I feel like I've broken a promise again. I said we'd be at war. Well, it's just taking forever to deploy everyone.
our rifles and horses are just about out now too. We haven't deployed our front forces yet. This may have been overkill. Ask for anything you want. Ask for anything you want. We've deployed most of our troops at this point, but we've still got a few big bases we haven't deployed yet. Like Oda Castle, Motogi Castle. This is where I'm like, wait for these frontline troops to arrive, wait for more money to get here, or yeah, because I need more rifles. Oh. I'm gonna do exactly what I said I couldn't do. I said I can't sell food for anything. Ask for anything you want. But ask for anything you want. Thank you for your patience. Because I need to buy ask for anything you want. badly. Eight thousand. Thank you for your patronage. Now, how many guns can I buy? Ask for anything you want. Thank you for your patronage. Ask for anything you want. Thank you for your patronage. So, have I got enough food to last until uh, a couple more months? 120 days, that's 4 months, April, June, July, oh boy. It's going to be close, because I'll have people, they'll be taking food away as they march past, as they march past those cities, they'll be refilling. It's going to be real close. But at the end, what I've got is... I'm out of time for the video. We've got our frontline cities haven't deployed yet. But I should have enough guns and horses for the frontline cities to deploy at full gun and horse level as well. And, um. Are you guys going anywhere? No, you are not. And uh, when we come back next time, so this is a whole weekend of getting ready. I figured this weekend we'd be going to war, and we kind of are. But really, boy, this is going to take a while to get rolling. But this is essentially going to be the decisive battle for Japan. If this huge push, shoving everything, everything I got into this valley to try to take it over while the Tokugawa are fighting Ina... And the Meta. And I've got some other coalition members who are probably not going to do much to help. And the Mori are not going to help. But if this big attack is enough to take that territory, that will make a huge difference to whether this is a winnable game. Because basically at this point, I'm just throwing, I'm throwing it all out there. Um, I'm just I'm tossing the dice. And if we lose... Uh, I don't know how much more LPing or how much longer we'll let this stretch out to watch people's like desperate heroic struggles against uh, fate. But if we do this and lose, we pretty much won't be able to win the game. I'm the Mysterious JG. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, hope you had a Merry Christmas. Wait a second. No. These will go public. Um... These will go public. Yeah. So, guys, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas if you're watching these as they go up. And um, see you guys again. Um, it'll be right around New Year's weekend. I mean, it'll be New Year's. Why am I? Just never mind. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.